TJ. Hey, Em. Is that usually it? I said, hi, yeah. DJ. Hi, DJ. And you go, hey, Em. Hey, Em. <laughs> and hello, listener. And welcome back to This, this that, that, and Chit Chat. A podcast with two best friends. Mm-hmm. Just chitting and chatting. <laughs> chitting and chatting. Hello, Chit Chatters. <laughs> welcome back. Um, hope you enjoyed me and my wife last week. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I was thinking last week. Yeah. Couple yeah. weeks, but yeah. 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 But it'll be us. last week for them. Yes. Yes. But... Two weeks for us. Did you all enjoy how we just made fun of DJ? Yeah. Because it's kind of fun. It's typically how it goes. <laughs> how do it? Lauren is so nice to me in private. Uh huh. And then whenever she's around somebody, mm. just picks on me. I kind of do. Oh, it's I love it. Yeah. She, she's always like, if I ever hurt your feelings, I'm like, you don't even a little bit. Like I think You're it's like, hysterical. I didn't even think that it was rude. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's what we it's are fans like. of light bullying. Oh, super. Yeah. It, Bullying by people who love you is fine. Is absolutely acceptable, encouraged. Yeah. 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 Um, anything new? <laughs> Are you watching The Bachelorette? I didn't know it started. It started last week. I don't think I'm going to watch. Yeah, I don't either. Last season was so boring. I would need to hear from this season that it was actually good. Yeah. Because the past, like, three seasons, it it, everyone has said... Oh, it's not good. Yeah. Right? Or they'll get to, like, the final, like... There's, like, one good episode, like, three weeks before the finale. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I probably won't watch again unless somebody's, like... You know, unless I hear there's, like, two good seasons yeah. in a row. Or if they brought Chris back. Chris? What's his name? Chris Harrison. Yeah. Chris Harrison, yeah. They brought him back. Um, speaking of good reality TV, uh-huh. you know it's back. Circle? No. Oh. My favorite show, Claim to Fame. Oh, TV. really? It's so good. I kind of wondered if they'd do that again. I know, I was shocked because yeah. I'm pretty sure four people watched and they're all in my family. Uh-huh. But it's so good. First episode last week, wild. Mm-hmm. Like, unhinged. Like, I recommend you watch. Okay. What's it on again? Uh, it's on ABC, but Hulu. Okay, okay. Yeah. Did you know? So we got... Paramount Plus for 30 mm. days, because they do it for 30 days of free trial, yeah. to watch the Mission Impossibles, to prepare for Mission Impossible 7. Yes. Anyway, that being said, there's a show on there called yeah. King, Tulsa King, with okay. Sylvester Stallone. Okay. I think as part of that deal, the Stallones now have a reality show like the Kardashians on Paramount Plus. Is it good? I don't know. I oh. just saw I just saw the preview okay. today. I was wondering if you knew anything about No, that. I've never even heard of that. Yeah. I'm not really in the Stallone universe. I don't know who is. I'm very <laughs> surprised that this is a thing. Maybe that's why it's on Paramount Plus. Yeah. yeah. But it, they, it's all girls except for him. So he's got a wife and two daughters. Okay. Maybe three daughters. They look very beautiful. Look very... Sorry. Normal. Yeah. I don't know. So I think it... Okay. I don't know. Interesting. Anyway. Let us know if you guys are watching the yeah, Stallone. If anyone's in the, the Paramount Plus universe. Yeah. Or the Stallone universe. If anyone's playing, paying for one streaming service and it's Paramount Plus and you are watching the Stallone. Yeah. Literally, let us know. that is the one streaming service. Aside from Tulsa King, there's just nothing on there that I so, care that much about. I've heard it's like my brother and sister in law have it for their kids. Mm. Like there's a lot of kids' content on oh, it. Oh, because they have Nickelodeon, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And so there's like Bluey. People love Bluey. People love Bluey. Mm. And every parent's like, it's the best kids show. Well, because I've heard, uh, from what I, like a lot of parents, what makes or breaks a good kids show Mm -hmm. is like how respectful the child is. Because some of them, for like comic effect, the kids are like butt munches. Yeah. Yeah. We stopped being able to watch Caillou. Because he was rude. He was a brat. Yeah. And we started becoming brats. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So. But I've heard Bluey is like super... Okay. Yeah, anyway, that's why people Any love it. parents who listen, let us know why Bluey is so great. <laughs> Should we do an episode on kids' shows? On <laughs> kids' shows and we live react to an episode mm-hmm. of Bluey. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you want us to live react to an episode of Bluey, tell us that you want a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you guys want us to live react to any show... Honestly. We would do it. I, oh, 100%. I've been thinking we, we should do it. We watch shows all the time. We should do it with, uh, like, Tall the Boys. Like, I think that would be really fun mm-hmm. to do a, uh, like, live watch, and we could record it, too, and then put it on your mom's home. Yeah. And people would just say, okay, we're pressing play now. And then they watch. So if you're interested in that. Yeah. Let us know what you want to see us know. react to. Let us know, yeah, what movie. Yeah. yeah. We'd love we it. That'd be fun. I mean, Lauren would probably be here, but it'd be fun. Yeah, we can give her the whole crew. 
Um, Emily. Yeah. We have solicited the viewers for today. We have. Because this is something that... We all deal with. I don't know what percentage of people, but it, it's got to be high. Uh-huh. Everyone's had roommates. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone has had a bad roommate. Everyone has. Yeah. When I started my first job post-college and my coworkers found out I had roommates, uh-huh. they were all in my 40s or 50s. They were shocked I had roommates. Huh. And I was like, why? And they are like, well, because you're like 25. Why don't you get a place on your own? And I'm like, first of all, we live in the D.C. area. Yeah. There's, it's expensive. Yeah. And two, for social reasons. Yes. It's so much more. Fun. I lived on my own for a year. You did. I hated it. You did. I did. Yeah. I thought I'd love it because I did not like having roommates. Yeah. But I hated living alone even more. And what'd you hate about it? Because I've always had roommates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going home. See, because I am not necessarily one who's like wants to hang out with their roommates every night. Especially yeah. like my last roommates were I was friends with, yeah. so that was great. But, like, even just coming home and there being someone there, even if I wasn't friends with them, yeah. like, I miss them. Oh, You know? Okay, so, yeah. just, like, it was just, like, when you're home, you're alone. Yeah. That was... And if you don't actively come up with something to do, you're just going to be by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So... I feel that. Yeah, you can't, like, flip on a show and this guy that you live with will come down and, like, watch it with you. Yeah. Right? Like... As much as, like, sometimes that's annoying if they're, like, commenting or, like, oh, I give you not Or you, you want to be alone yeah. in that moment and you're like, oh. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, yeah. yeah, I got, I just got lonely. Yeah. Yeah. So now you have a very good roommate. I have the best roommate. Yeah. Highly recommend marrying someone and living with them. I don't know. I would suck if you didn't like living with your, if you, like, loved someone, but, but like, like living didn't with like them. living with them. I imagine that happens. That would sure suck. It does. I don't. I have a great room right now, and you have great. Roommates. I have great. I have a, a you great... have a good setup. Yeah. Yeah, and have for a while. Yeah, this is our third. You figured it out. House, third home living together, fourth year living together. Yeah, it's great. That's a good. It's a good ecosystem we've built. Yeah. Well, and the longer you're together, right? Because I think part of what made roommates hard was I was with my best friend basically all of college, yeah. aside from a six month period. We were roommates the entirety of college. Yeah. And so then I think I moved out. Do they want to be shout out by me? Yeah, down. What up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Aside from one semester, mm-hmm. we roomed together all of college. Two semesters. Um, anyway, we roomed together all of college. And yeah. so, like, uh, yeah, I was just used to, like, living with someone who I got and yeah. who I was friends with. And then moving in with randos and not really clicking friend-wise yeah. with them. Like, I liked them, and we'd hang out occasionally, but it wasn't like, we weren't going to be best friends. It's also hard because in our church community, Mm -hmm. like, it's not like random roommates that you would never have to interact with. Right. Because you still go to church with these people. You go to church, you go to church social events. Or you have the same friends, even if you're not the same friends, Mm -hmm. which can make it tough. It can. And so, it just works better when you get along. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, anyway, I think that was part of it. And then I realized, nope, don't want to live alone. Moved in with Zach. That was awesome. Way to go. Mm, thank you. But we've had some bad roommates. We have. And I specifically have been a bad roommate. <coughs> have you? I've been a very bad roommate. Okay, what Before you we get to bad roommate stories, let me tell you a couple of my stories. Okay. This was very early on uh-huh. in my uh, living with Zach. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I did not like him still. So Zach and I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was late at night. Yeah. I was hungry. Okay. It may have been a Sunday, so I didn't want to go out and get food. Yeah. It was probably just late. Anyway, I go upstairs. I don't have any food. I'm looking around, but I realize I have some frozen fruit. Or there was just frozen fruit there, because thinking about it now, you I didn't have a blender, so I don't know why I would have had frozen why? fruit. So not only are you about to blend something, Yeah. you stole someone's food to do it. Potentially. Okay. I also <laughs> definitely... 100% did it in part to annoy Zach. Yeah. 100. Okay. Like, absolutely, hindsight, totally, definitely, that was part like of it. Like, you knew story. what you were doing. Oh, yeah, I wasn't yeah. that dumb. <laughs> anyway, so I start blending up the fruit. I did not put enough water or milk or whatever I was putting in it, so it wasn't blending well. And this is, like, what time? Yeah, 2, 2, 2 oh, 30, 3 in the okay. morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so Zach comes out, and he's like... What are you doing? It is two in the morning. And I was like, look, I know. I was so hungry, man. Like, I'm almost done. Go back to bed. It's fine. Uh-huh. 
I'll finish up here soon. And knowing DJ, yeah, <laughs> we love DJ. You probably were so annoyed and mean to him for interrupting. Yes, your absolutely. Soothing. And we just didn't like each other that yeah. time either. It took us a year to like each other. So anyway, yeah, I've been a terrible roommate. Okay. Yeah. I would also like, like you are apologizing sure. to Zach. Sure. I'm apologizing to my roommate Chantel. Sure. Um, there was a time where I would just scream at the top of my lungs. <laughs> like I had been shot. And she would run out. She was very kind. And she'd be like, what's going on? And I'd be like, I just wanted to see what you do. And I did it a lot. I can't, I, like, honestly, Chantel sounds like an amazing person because <laughs> after two, I would, just after dead. one, I'd just be like, I would also it. just, like, kind of wait a couple weeks. To do it again. <laughs> and then I would scream and she'd run out again. So I'm sorry to that. How long did this last for? Like, how, what? I probably did it like four or five times <laughs> over like a year. I also pranked and scared her a lot. Because when Chantel gets scared, she like faints like a goat. Like she falls up. She doesn't faint. Oh, okay. But she like legit oh, falls she, to the ground. So there's fight. Fight, flight, or faint. And, yeah. She faints. Yeah. And so I would pop out every time she got out of the bathroom. I did all that stuff. Once I bought... I would prank her a lot. Like, I'd buy the black ice air fresheners, uh -huh. and I'd put them in her drawers. Uh -huh. And so she wouldn't know until it was too late, and all of her underwear smelled like oh air gosh. freshener. I was kind of a bully to Chantel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not the best roommate. Yeah, like, and not in the, like, light bullying, like, no. trying to get bad behavior out of someone way. No, like, it was just, just... Let's just see how I can irritate yeah, her today. Yeah, well, good. Yeah. Um... <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I don't know if this is in this take, so I'll just say it again. I would also sleep on the couch for weeks at a time uh, and not really leave the couch and yeah. use that room. Uh, and then I left my stuff everywhere and didn't like when people cleaned up after me. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. I, I learned post-college, but pre-college. Yeah. 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 I had roommates where they constantly left their stuff in the yeah. living room, and it gets hard because... You don't want to be their mom and be like, hey, can you get rid of this crap? Yeah. But it's yeah. everywhere. Don't you currently have roommates where you have specific places in the house where you're not allowed to scare? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We haven't actually... I guess we've rolled that over to our current house, but it's not in the basement. Yeah. Not in my bedroom or the bathroom. Yeah. Because you're very vulnerable there. Right. And not outside. Okay. Yeah. Because, not because you're doing scaring, because your roommate My is. roommate yeah. scares me. And I scare her back, but not to the level she scares me. <laughs> and in our old house, that the garage was very scary. Mm -hmm. And so I was just, like, not happy. Yeah, plus that raccoon is attacked. Yeah. So, yeah. Not attached me. I'd been sitting on the front porch. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a scary but, I mean, basically, m mentally attacked. It yeah. was, yeah. There yeah. was a level of fear every yeah, time yeah. I left that yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. It was wild. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, before we get to what the listener said, yeah. I uh, would like to tell two stories okay. about bad roommates. First one. Freshman year. Our okay. first Sunday. Yeah. We're going to church as roommates. Okay. We're super excited. And one of our roommates is like, I want to be a nice guy. I'll do the... I'll run the dishes while we're gone. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> super nice. We get back, and the <laughs> there are suds, like, literally oh. filling the kitchen. He put because the wrong soap in? He didn't know that you didn't put Dawn in. Oh. But we didn't find this out for like months because that day we're all like, guys, who did this? And nobody would own up to it. Everyone was like, what? Well, like, it wasn't me. Yeah. Like I, like, I know that. Like, and we were all like, guys, like, it's all good. Like, just some... nobody's mad. Yeah. Like, just who did it? Anyway, it was months later until he fessed up. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not the word. No, it's not a bad roommate thing. It's just, it's just funny. a funny story. Yeah. This is a bad roommate mm. thing. So my senior year, I get back. Okay, to be fair, I was being a bad roommate. My roommate was being a bad roommate at the time. So senior year, I went on a study abroad to Washington, D.C. Mm. Um, and I didn't want to meet new people. Yeah. Meet new yeah. friends, get new roommates. So I was like, hey, can I come live with you guys again? And my roommate, Dallin, was like, yeah, you can live on my floor and pay half my rent. So I literally just slept on a mattress on his floor. Okay. But that meant I took up fridge space while I wasn't paying rent. Bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So lots of bad things going on. Anyway, one of their roommates at that time, who was my roommate, sort of, uh, would literally cook 
while talking to his mom in another country on the phone uh -huh. for like four hours at a time. So you couldn't use the kitchen. Yeah. And if you did use the kitchen, you had to be silent. Yeah. Because you didn't want to interrupt this conversation between a, well, yeah, a boy okay. and his mother who's across the yeah. world and he doesn't get to see. Oh, it was miserable. Yeah. yeah. I will say that's so awkward when people are in communal spaces on phone calls. Yeah. And I feel like most of the time people are like, oh, sorry. Like, I'll yeah, leave. Right. And if you're literally the only one there and everyone's off doing their own thing, then like have your own right. phone call. But if, especially at like cooking times, yeah. like if you know other people are going to need to make food, yep. get out of the kitchen. Yeah. 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 Or at least like, cause I'll I'll be like, I'm I'm finishing up, you know like yeah. let them know like or like you aware. can make noise like it's totally oh yeah. yeah or that right like oh you know we talk all the time like no worries yeah. do what you need to do yeah. you know yeah or I'll like even sometimes like bring them into the conversation mm -hmm. so anyway I had a roommate who uh, she must have been smart because she's a nurse now so we'll see. Uh -huh. She would often leave things on to boil and leave the house, forgetting about that. <laughs> and so more than once, we came home to something on the stove that had... Boiled eaten, off. Boiled off. Spoons melted to the bottom of a pot. All sorts of stuff. And she just would, like, not just think about forget. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was kind of a scary roommate. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And that was... She also did other weird things. Yeah. Well, nurses, right. they're weird. Yeah. What, uh, what are our listeners? Okay. So yeah. I haven't read these yet. Okay. I wanted them live reactions. Sure. Sure. My roommates got in a fist fight at 7 a.m. one morning. I love that it's two roommates who fought each other. <laughs> what? And like, what happened at 7 a.m. that you're like, I gotta go. I gotta fight you right now. One of them stormed out and called the police on the other one. Police came and had to take statements from all of us. Both roommates ended up getting evicted. What? And like, assuming these people this were This is young, anonymous, right? Yeah. I have, I have no idea who this could be. What do you mean? Like, who, who do we know? Who could have roommates? Who would have had roommates who got in a fist fight at know. 7 in the morning? I mean, obviously it could be anyone, but yeah. like... Who's living in that type of situation? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I think... Hold on. Because a listener messaged us saying that they submitted a story. Oh. So it might be this one. Oh, it was our friend Sage. Nuh-uh! She said, I just submitted one. Uh, mine is the one about police. Let me know if you want more deets. Sage, we do. Uh, oh. I do, personally. Yeah. <laughs> we might not recap it on the pod, but let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, this is another one. Once my roommate invited a homeless man to stay the night at our house. I think... You this know. was my roommate. I totally forgot oh. about this. Homeless might be a bit of a stretch, but he overheard this man calling his friends at a church function asking to crash at their place. After being denied like three times, my roommate, who was well-meaning, decided to offer up our couch for this man to stay for a couple of nights. I was already not excited for this, but trusted my roommate. When trying to get to know what this guy's story was, he told us he was going to grad school in Germany, but came to Utah to escape the cold. It was winter in Utah, so I don't know what this man was thinking. <laughs> After staying with us a few nights, we wanted him gone, but my roommate wouldn't tell the dude he could... He couldn't stay anymore. It all culminated with this man knocking on our door one night, being let in, asking for food, and then my roommate making him a sandwich and disappearing into his room. That's foul. He Oops. disappeared. No, he didn't disappear into his room. He disappeared into my room because I Because you were hiding? <laughs> yes. Leaving me to try to get this homeless dude out of our house. We eventually did, but my roommate thought it was hilarious that he left it to me to clean up the mess he got the whole house into. It's was true. this down? No, this was Christian. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Christian. Yeah. Oh. Christian came downstairs like... Like, like that, like, laugh when you're, like, so uncomfortable. Yeah. So he came into my room and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> but he got him out. Uh, Phil and Zach got him out. Okay. Yeah. Um, roommate never... This is another one. Roommate never cleaned, then boyfriend slash fiance was over all the time, and if anything was messy, she blamed us. So, like, to her fiance, she's uh, like, oh, my roommates are so messy. Ugh. He came over to help with cleaning checks when she was moving out and made all these comments about how we were all lucky that he was there to clean. They're oh. married. Yeah, that sounds like an insufferable couple. <laughs> They're married now, and I hope in not a, an extreme way that ca karma got her. <laughs> He's like, um, so you're, you're kind of messy. <laughs> you're kind of messy. Yeah. Hmm, did you learn from your roomie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the last one. And from the first sentence, I'm going to say trigger warning. Oh. We'll see. I had a roommate poop in the shower once. What? 
It was a shared bathroom for all four of us, and one night she showered first, and we all sat on the couch waiting to use the bathroom with the, with the other roommates. She showered, left to go get dressed, and my other roommate went into the bathroom. <laughs> she quickly ran back out and whispered to me that there was poop in the tub. The pooper heard all of this, silently ran back into the bathroom, slammed the door, and stayed in there for a few minutes. When she left the bathroom and ran back into her room, we noticed there was no more poop, but there was never a flush. What? That's sick. And, like, you don't bring... I guess you can't bring it up. But, like, it should be brought up. It should absolutely be brought up. But how do you, you bring it up? Did you just poop in the shower? <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, if you're willing to identify yourself, please DM us. Let us know. I... What? How are these two crazy stories to both women? Well, most of our listeners are women. Yeah. But holy crap. And like, where'd the poop go? Well, I bet she just, like... Hosed it down? Hosed it down the drain. And two, at what point is it... Can you not, like, what would you, like, I'm going to leave the bathroom. Yeah. In a shared bathroom, when you leave, you should make sure that there is no trace of you in any form. Well, especially, it sounds like that she knew that everyone else was going to shower. Yeah. Like, it sounds like they, like, came back from swimming or something. Yeah, like, they were waiting outside the bathroom. Yeah. Like, they knew it was you. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just like. You're like, who did that? Hey, who pooped in the shower? <laughs> You're like. Someone pooped in the yeah. shower? Gross. And then everyone has to be like, what, t- wh- who in the chain of command was it? That's nasty. That's crazy. Guys, don't poop in the shower. What? Especially if it's communal. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Those are some wild ones. That's insane. That's some wild ones. Uh, awesome. Um, oh, you have another... Um... Let's see. If we have. I thought this article was going to be good, but let's see. Um, There's a couple that people refuse to buy. Oh, I had a roommate who absolutely refused to buy toilet paper. After weeks of stealing ours, the three of us started hiding it so she'd be forced to buy her own. Instead, she started taking heaps of napkins from restaurants and stealing rolls of our toilet papers. One night when we all went out to dinner, came home, the entire basement was flooded because she had backed up the toilet. It is not hard to be a good roommate in terms of this. No, That's crazy. Yeah. This is, this is from BuzzFeed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother had a roommate when he would cook things, Uh like in a pot. He would just put the whole pot in the fridge instead of like covering it. Sure. So that would just take up space. That's not a great roommate. That's not. My sister had roommates who were so bad at dishes. They would let it pile up and then spill onto the counter. It got to the point where she was hiding her own utensils. Yeah. Yeah. And just washing just them. But she had to, like, move their stuff out of the way to wash it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is another one from BuzzFeed. We had a ton of food going missing, and we all know who it was, but my... A best bud, who's also the landlord, discreetly set up a webcam in the kitchen. Within a couple of days, we caught one roommate eating a stick of butter straight from the wrapper, and then he went in the pantry, grabbed a bag of sugar, and just started chugging it. (laughs) That's so weird. That's unhinged. Like, that person needs help. (laughs) Needs help. Also, to have a camera in your kitchen. Like, that's a level of... I mean, it's like, it's like, well, we all know who's doing it, but we need to confront them. Yeah. Like, hey, here's the proof we know you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, um, incredible segment. Yeah. The absolute craziest stories that we have ever had on this pod. Thank you so much for sharing. We'll do another one if you guys keep submitting stories. Yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, you have a rant for us? I do. I do have a rant. (laughs) My rant is having to find a new show after you've finished whatever you're binging. That is... Because nothing, like, fits what you need in that moment. And you, like, so I just finished, finished Shit's Creek. Uh-huh. And I had already seen it. Sure. So I rewatched it again. And I just was like, I, it's so much effort. And you try an episode and you're like, that didn't get me. Especially, because there's like two, there's like, this especially compounds when it's something like Shit's Creek where it's so short. Yeah. That like, 
you haven't scratched that itch fully. No. Yeah. Right? You're like, I wanted this specific vibe. Yeah. And I no haven't longer. quite that scratched that itch. Yeah. So, and then two, when you've like, I don't know, I go through periods where I'm watching lots of TV, so I'll binge through a few shows, oh. and then I'm like, I just watched that. Yeah. I don't you have know? anything to watch. Yeah. So it so, becomes especially hard then. I feel like when I finish binging a show, I watch movies for like a couple of days or a couple mm. weeks, just mm. random things. Until I find another show that I can, like, yeah. fully binge. Because you, like me, do you have a TV on while you work? Most of the time. Yeah, so you yeah. go through shows pretty quick. Yeah. yeah I'm the same way. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, nice. that is a great rant. Yeah. Because it's absolutely true. It drives me insane. Okay, here's my rant. Customer service... Uh, no. The, the difficulty in finding a customer service number when oh. you're trying to call for an issue. Yeah. It's insane. They... Like, these days, like, the popular thing is to have, like, an FAQ page. Yeah. Where they're like, does this solve your problem? No. I don't know. I'm also not an idiot. So, yeah. like, I tried all this. Yeah. You know, like, anyway. You can, like, Google it. And sometimes Google, like, has trouble finding it. Yeah. It's so frustrating. I had to be on a lot of customer service calls last week for various reasons. But, it like, that, I, I was like, I would be willing to wait ten minutes longer yeah. on hold if I wasn't already pissed yeah. at how hard it was to find the number. Along with that, I hate when you have a live chat option uh -huh. and you have to stay on the page for the chat to stay active. Oh, uh-huh. Because I'm like, I'm just sitting here waiting for you to come up with the yeah. answer. Like, yep. let me go somewhere They also, else. the live chat's the worst, too, because they're helping, like, six people at yeah. once. So you ask a question, and it's, like, ten minutes. Yeah. They're like, one sec. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me some more details about this? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the worst. So, anyway... Uh, just making customer service more available is my rant. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Mm, thank you. My rant this week? Yeah. It's a little throwback also. We love our listeners. We absolutely do. And we love how much participation we got regarding Song of the Summer. Yes. Which was oh, yes. Cruel Summer, which yes. me and DJ have our own thoughts about, but we believe in democracy. Sure we do. So if the people want Cruel Summer, they got Cruel Summer. But my wreck is um, that that's the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because a song... It did you find a new song? song I summer? did. And okay. it hasn't been fully released yet, but just the half of the audio came out on TikTok. What? And it is... So my wreck is really just this song, but it's going to be my song of the summer once it's fully released. Sure. So when's I'm going to play it. Yeah, when's it fully coming out? Well, it samples from a song from the 70s, and so they have to like... They're in the process of uh, making gotcha. sure... But it just makes you happy. Okay. That is summer. It is summer. Yeah. So you heard Who it here first. His name is Paul Russell. Okay. He's. He just did the final mix because it like blew up on TikTok. Okay. And I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. I listen to that audio just over and over. And so I'm like, that's my wreck. Is that's going to be the song of the summer? Yeah. That's a listen great song of the summer. Yeah. Yeah. I recommend that too. Thanks. Okay. Here's my wreck. It is so niche. Uh -huh. It probably applies to zero people. But if you are a customer service rep, like I said, I was on the phone yeah. with a lot of customer service people. When you're helping them, like uh -huh. when you're doing like the one sec, let me check on that. Yeah. Sing to yourself. I had the most wonderful call with okay. this Caribbean woman. Okay. So she's got this cool accent. And then she's like, one sec, I'll help you with that. And all of a sudden, she starts singing to herself. I love and that. And I was like, what is going on? And it made it so much more enjoyable. Oh, it was awesome. It yeah. was, And then she started bullying me. Because I'm. it was with Verizon. She's like, why are you getting off iPhone? And I was like, because uh, I want to get to the new Pixel. And she's like, mm, I don't get it. <laughs> I, love I forget. That. She was awesome. So, I don't love that you're getting off of iPhone. I yeah, don't know this right now. I am working on a way. There's a new service coming out. I'm on the waiting list for that'll allow me to keep doing iMessage. Okay. So, uh, the effect on you should be pretty minimal. Okay, good. But uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it was awesome. So if you're a customer service rep and you're on the phone with people, I mean, obviously, I think she could tell that I was chill. Yeah. But get the vibe first. But if there's a good vibe, yeah, sing. It, that's it great. was so joyful. I love that. Yeah, me too. Okay, my random question. Oh, tell me. What's a name that gives you bad vibes? What's a name that gives yeah. me bad vibes? 
Um, here's the thing. I don't want to say Kyle, because, like, that's so cliche. Yeah. But it's Kyle. Really? Yeah. I've liked every Kyle I've met. Really? Yeah. Mm. Kyle Samson? Oh, I do like Kyle Samson. Yeah. Okay, well, it just came to mind. Okay, Kyle. Yeah. Have you heard there's an issue with J names? J names? People yeah. don't like people with well, J names? Girls say that guys with J names are always bad vibes. What's a I J don't... name for a boy? Jared, Jake, Josh. I've only met Pleasant Jakes, Josh, and Jared. I, yeah, I was trying to think. And I Especially don't... Jared. Jared's like such a nerd name. Jared is like a stable guy name. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Jared is like the guy who plays piano really well and like helps ladies across the street. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jared's are solid. Yeah. I would say a bad name, Vivian. Oh, yeah. Like. The double V. You tell me. Your friend Vivian is fun to be around? Not Jane. No. No, Vivian is high maintenance. Yeah. Absolutely. Vivian. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We should do an episode where we just judge names. Oh my gosh. Goodness, we should. <laughs> That'd be funny. Because there was a couple of names that I was like, I don't really like that name. And I was like, oh wait, they listen to the podcast. Yeah. It's funny though, you know, just as like, as I've thought about my future kids, like, oh, I can't name them that because of this person I yeah. know. You know? It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Random question. Yeah. What's your dream cri crime? Like that I commit? Yeah, like if you could commit any crime, what would it be? And get away with it. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. Oh, well. This is if you... Okay, yeah. Or at least like, let's say you didn't have morals. What crime would you commit? I think I would either steal a lot of money. Okay. Or if I knew I wasn't going to get hurt. Sure. I don't know. This just occurred to me. I would drive a car through a building. What? <laughs> like, just like think, like if I wasn't gonna hurt anybody and I wasn't gonna get hurt, think about how fun it would be to just be like, foot on the gas. Uh, I, I, I agree. Like, like through like a, a garage door. Oh, I'm even thinking like like a big like showy building crashing through like glass. three glass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. I agree. Yeah. Okay, that is a cool crime. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I would. Genuinely, I like kind of have like a, uh, uh, I definitely glorify the mob. Mm. I would love to start a, a crime family. Oh. I think I'd be really good at it. See, this is the second time on this podcast you've admitted how you think you could get away with like murder. Well, I don't think like... I'd get away with it. I said. Oh, I could get away with random murder yeah. for sure. I don't think I can get away with starting a crime family. With a family. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what would be the purpose of that? I don't know. I just... Have you seen The Godfather? I have not. There's something so romantic about these, like, criminals who also have, like, very strong, like, ties. Family and ties. Yeah. Family. And, like, uh, they have, like, a code. Yeah. And if you break the code... The one thing I don't like is that you kill someone if they break the code. Oh, okay. I so don't like the killing. the crime? I don't know. Okay. But you just, I just want to be involved in a crime ring. Yeah. But that's like a strict, you know, has a code. So basically what you want uh -huh. is you, is you, it's like Michael Scott. You want a bunch of friends that can't leave you. <laughs> no, that's why I'm having kids. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I just want friends that are indebted to me that I have, they have to continue being my friend. No, I don't know. Anyway. You just want that, that friendship, that community. Uh, within crime. Within crime. Yeah. Okay. The crime is, is, is essential. Is important to okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Great. Cool. Love that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, anything else? No. Short episode. Yeah. I mean, it was a long one last week, so, yeah. you know, we're giving in, you a little bit defense, of a break. In our defense, we recorded 10 extra minutes that didn't get yeah. on, so we had to, like, I don't know what freaking happened, but I've been checking the whole time. Okay. It's still going. Oh, phew. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. Guys. Videoception. Videoception. Can you see the watch? Seeing the watch? Look seeing the that. watch? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. If you are on... <laughs> if you're watching, if you're on, watching on YouTube. Yeah. But anyway. Videoception. Buy your stickers. Yep. Buy your t-shirt. Buy your t-shirts. I got a picture of one of our listeners wearing his t-shirt. <gasps> Cute. Did you get the same picture? Where would you get it? Did he text you? Yeah. Dallin texted me a picture. <sighs> and he said... Great shirt, and there's a picture of him wearing it. <laughs> no, said, thanks he didn't for supporting. Send me that. 
That's DJ's best friend who texted me. Freaking so. A, dude. He yeah. has this weird obsession with you. Well, we're besties. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it. Um, buy your t-shirts. Buy your t-shirts. Buy your stickers. Buy your stickers. Eat your donuts. I'm at 10. I had one yesterday. Hey, I'm at 10. No, I'm at 11. Hey, good on you. Yeah. Yeah. I am just still baffled by how hard this is. It is. Yeah. I also, I don't know. Maybe it was just better last year. But, like, I don't eat that many hot dogs. I don't know how I did 29 so easily. I think it's because, one, the bit was be better, right? Mm. Like, everyone would talk to us about hot dogs all the time. All the time. All Whereas the time. donuts are, like, so common. It's yeah. Like, yeah, okay. And also, you can't just eat one hot dog in a sitting. Correct. Donuts, more than one, you're like, ooh. Yeah, you're like, ooh. That was a lot. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. These yeah. are mine. Don't touch yeah. them. Yeah. But hot dogs, like, easily, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get there. I'm confident yeah. of it. But maybe let's not do what you had to do with hot dogs last year where you had to eat like four in a day. Did I have to do that? Yeah, at the very end of the year you went mm. to cookout or something and you got... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I had four like or five. three to yeah. finish. Yeah, three or four to finish. So you got to space it out. That's right. Yeah, I guess it was... Yeah, no, I definitely don't want to be eating four donuts in one sitting next year. I also don't know because hot dogs have a season, right? Like summer. Yeah. There's not really a donut season. There's not. Yeah. I mean, aside from apple cider... Donuts mm. in the, in the yeah. fall. But even that. And we don't go so. into the office enough. And I don't think mm -hmm. it's as much of a culture to like bring in donuts. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. eat your donuts. <clears throat> Next week we'll talk about. What are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get, pay attention and see. Thank It'll be something listener. great. Okay, love you. Bye.